What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grifflands. Today's going to be a little bit of a quieter, quieter episode because I'm recording this the night before. Or uh, today is Thursday night and this episode should be up Friday morning. So lucky you, you get it hot off the presses straight from the oven and all that. I'm recording it super late at night and talking a little bit quieter because of that. Don't want to wake up the other people in the house. Uh, we've been doing a lot of smith runs lately and so let's go ahead and do a rook run uh, you may think that because it's been a while i might want to do a sal one but i think i remember how the rook deck works uh, you just flip the coin and you win also look at that new outfit wow yeah i know how rook's uh, negotiation deck works you just, you just flip coins and everything's nice for you i am not going to start at level four i will start at level two because i am still a bit rusty and let's see what kind of perks we can get going here we have no perk points available uh that's, that's garbage get these tier one perks out of here what we want is to heal after each fight let's go ahead uh get these basic decks to be better and then Let's get additional graph slots, or do we want people to like us? Let's get additional people to like us. All right. And I think that's a nice, healthy, balanced start. Healing, extra XP, people like us. Yeah. You bear do the I know what type of, of uh, deck I'm going to go for? There. Nope. But I do know. Uh, we are going to push up. Uh, we're just going to play with uh, whatever whatever the game deals us. So let's remind ourselves. <coughs> when the coin is on snails, comply with composure to random friendly argument. Alright, right. on its snails deals max damage. Or heads deals max damage. Snails is tails. Got it. We have four coming in. Go ahead, protect ourselves. Blast him. I'm interested in what uh, Rook's flourishes are going to look like. Because he has different triggers or different mechanics to work with than Smith does. Yo, this carapace thing is really growing on me already. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and get our cards back. That's not what I said was going to happen, but uh, let's protect ourselves. Flip the coin. Uh, flip the coin. Got him. Get your strong man out of here. Okay, we are on tails, so let's go ahead and blast him. This overflows nicely. We still have uh, snails for bonus damage. You're taking four damage, which I don't appreciate. If we apply composure here and composure to ourselves, we'll take none though, because this will just die exactly. Ooh, there is going to be over. This damage will be increased. Well, thanks to order operations, it wasn't. Let's see, five damage coming in. Not a big fan of that. Oh, I gained two vulnerability. It's been a while. Let's see. Is there a chance that we beat him? There is. Alright. It's a good one. Good. One in three chance we beat him. Just... Oh, just short, just short. So we went up taking five this turn. Right. He'll be dead next turn. Alright, and we're not fatigued yet, so let's go ahead and gain some experience first, and then have this card level up. Alright, attack two random arguments, discard your hand, draw five, gamble, attack a card, discard twice. Let's go with none. I don't want to, I don't want to push our deck in either direction with such c basic cards. No, I want something to really motivate us to go one way or the other. And right, let's destroy it. We always want to try to destroy basic cards because just about anything else is better than them. 
Capital Capacio Pishenko. All right. Here's my papers. Let's get the blacklist. The blacklist is a lot of fun. We'll report to the foreman. Or report to the spark baron. Yeah, I really like having the blacklist. But it you to just uh, attack everybody with it. Increase max resolve by 8. Dra draft to negotiations. Add a slot. I think we have plenty of slots for each of them. Let's get negotiation cards. This card costs zero, draw two. Draw two cards, also the cards drawn cost one less. You have plus one for every argument you have. I have no means of generating arguments yet. Draw two cards, all hostility cards drawn cost one less until played. Maybe. Maybe. What do you upgrade into? Draw three less or cost two less? Or draw three cards or cost two less? I can make this a Tails card. This card costs zero. Draw two. Replenish. Yo, Replenish is sick. Replenish is a real good keyword to have on a card. Preparing is interesting. And you know what? I really like Heated. Influence increases the all diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. Okay, okay. I really like heated though. Salcito. I know we didn't really pick a direction yet, but uh, those are two interesting cards, or at least two cards with the potential to be interesting. I'm supposed to contact you. Here's the papers. It's been a while since I've dealt with Rook's story, but I understand the basics. You can convince. Um, you can be like a double agent. At the start of each turn, mark an enemy. Attacking that enemy grants you three defense. Okay. What's up, dude? Now, you do kind of want to pay attention to Rook's story, oh, which is unfortunate if this is your first time here, because I'm going to skip through a lot of it. I've seen it quite a few times um, but Rook's a master wordsmith he's he's a spy he's a double agent he's a triple agent sometimes um, you know, he's got some witty retorts in there uh, Felimo is the uh, regional manager he basically owns this uh, work site and as tropes go he uh, doesn't pay his workers what they feel is enough um, it's that classic, like, you live on the coal, coal mine, uh, the coal mine owner owns the land that you, that your apartment's built on, and he owns a grocery store that you buy your food from, so your entire life is dependent on his, uh, goodwill. So, we can get a new card, spark baron permit, apply if I composure, expand, replenish, destroy, or beat up some auto dogs. Let's go get some auto dogs busted. They report a whole colony loose prey on wayward laborers. Bad for morale, not to mention attendance, I should say. Well, I'm sure you know what I'm asking. Yeah, I'll go fight some robot dogs, no big deal. And the less said about that, the better. Oh, but when you destroy the chassis, be sure to salvage the core. We can run diagnostic and likely as not repair the model. All right, so I wanted to, uh, maybe should have talked to you. What, what do you got for sale? Equipment? Probably don't want it. While this is in your hand, gain one temporary power whenever you draw a card, steal the target's power, expand the sticky, apply mark. No, thank you. I want to, I want to warm up our, our battle deck. It's been a long time since we used rooks, and I want to get an idea of where we go with it. I do know that he has that charge and undercharge thing yeah, going on. Uh, what are you doing here, Drifter? You see this? This carnage? This is what you're working for. I should teach you a lesson. You should not fight me. You don't have to like me or who I work for, but hear me out. We should hunt the dogs together. It's hard to be just turned around a card in hand costs one extra for this negotiation. Man, I hate that. <clears throat> We're taking four. I 
I also hate that. Let's go ahead and just hurt you as much as possible. Flip the coin. Alright. Can't say I didn't try. Now, let's get your name on the blacklist. Okay, one damage for names taken. Playing this card against a new unique character and screen to the list. Okay. And this is... When this argument is destroyed, Clem restores five resolve for each propaganda in your hand. Well, she's gonna get a whole nun. Create one heated. I am gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's fine. It's gonna let me build up and, you know, improve the experience in my deck. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can flip the coin, it won't be as bad. Let's go ahead and swing. Oh, that's a good swing. You love to see it. You're getting hit for two. Let's flip the coin. Nice. So this is free. Now, two actions left. We're taking four damage. Let's not take four damage. And move on. Alright. You are five damage away from death, and we have five damage in hand. Would you look at that? This one. I don't want to flip the coin because you want to make sure that this is lethal. Alright. Each time you gamble, reduce the cost of this card by one until played. This card costs zero. Draw the cards, gamble for each hostility card drawn. Nope. Rig one coin. Or draw a card. I like knowing the outcome. And prepare a card or increase the damage. Let's increase the damage because we don't have anything that goes off prepare yet. Uh, not only until those barren monstrosities, but only until those barren monstrosities are put down. Okay, so you know where the pack went? Isn't it obvious? Look at the ground. Look at the claw marks, my dude. They obviously went to the southeast. Using the information you got from Clem, you find the den. Scavenged scrap metal lies in a haphazardly assembled pile. As you get closer, the sound of buzzing and grinding coming from within is overwhelming. The auto dogs themselves lie motionless around the den in various states of disrepair. It seems that without maintenance, they are slowly falling apart. Suddenly, one of the dogs bolts upright. Buzz. Alright. We might be able to salvage an auto dog of our own from this encounter. Uh, let's see how it plays out though. We have 15 damage coming in. Uh, we gain one defense per empty cell. So we have three defense coming automatically. Um, let's go ahead. Gain charge and defense and then just whack one. Doesn't really matter which. This is gonna end. Alright. What the heck? You hate to see that. Now, we're full on charge, so any extra charge will give us overcharge, and overcharge does extra damage. But we have 14 damage coming in. That's unfortunate. You're taking 5, so if we can do 5 more to you, we can see, save ourselves 7 damage. What's this? Gain 1 overcharge? Okay. Okay, okay. So, we got overcharge coming right there. You're guaranteed dead. Still has seven damage coming in. Let's go ahead and just end you. Another dog's gonna take your place, but I won't do anything this turn. Okay. Taking six and seven. Uh, this dog's being. 
What is this? Return to the bog in three turns. It'll deal explosive damage if it gets destroyed. You're being a road jerk about that. Let's improvise again. Spend one charge, apply one wound, or concentration, and draw a card. Let's go ahead. Okay. If we do this, the ranges on these will increase to 2 to 5, uh, averaging 3.5 damage per. So 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7. That's 1.5, so 8.5 damage possible. Uh, they're all at full health, so that doesn't help me that much. This, on the other hand, does 2 damage, wounds them all, increases damage the same way. Yeah, I think this is just better. Immune to bleed and wound, so it's better unless you're an idiot, in which case it's just worse in every way. Alright, so let's go ahead and just ensure that this one is dead next turn. And we'll protect ourselves a little bit. It's pretty rough for our first fight. That's fine, it's fine. Prestige 2, you know, to be expected. Now, what are you doing? You're defending me? I appreciate it. Uh, you're getting hit by this feral dog, so let's try to prevent that from happening. We'll, we'll kick you. We'll blast you. This will give us one defense, and hopefully you're going to give us a bit more. Power? Power's not good. Alright, <clears throat> you're getting attacked, that's fine. Who's hurting us? Back, top, back. Now, we are powered up. Let's go ahead and just blast him, dude. Let's spend all charge, deal one bonus damage per charge spent. Interesting. Interesting. So this will just one shot somebody. You can get out of here. And then you can get out of here. Alright. Turn that around real quick. Hopefully only you get attacked for the rest of the fight. That's not what I said. I said hopefully only you get attacked. But put you down. Blast at you. Protect your friends. Even if they're gonna protect themselves. Gain experience on this card. Oh, don't even have to play it. Because we just are going to finish up with that kick. Circuit has burn, gain one action, apply two burn, spend all charge, apply two burn per charge spent. Spend all charge, apply two burn per charge spent. I like spending charge because it gives us defense. And as evidenced by that last fight, gaining defense is kind of an issue. I also like that this card costs one. It does more damage has a possibility of doing more burn. This is good to get, but after we have a burn enabled. And let's get upgraded cards. Apply one ricochet. Whenever this target takes damage from attack, deal that much damage to an enemy target and reduce ricochet by one. Let's apply ricochet because drawing a card doesn't mean much when you're already spending two on the action. All right. You collect the Autodon cores as Quan watches. When you're done, she speaks up and rises into those cores. Oh, Clem, what? Start each negotiation with one influence. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. I will 
give you <sighs> okay I feel like I'm rusty and I feel like the rise path is easier so I'm just going to give Clem all the cores but yeah shoot keep ya I may be misremembering. And he was only going to give me like 90 chills, so. Explain what happened. Your, your boy's got my back. Listen to the descriptor who you don't know. You don't know me at all. The first card played at the start of your turn is played twice. Yo, let's go. So, play this twice. Yo, that's sick. Uh, let's go ahead. Flip the coin. Oh, we know what it's gonna be. Free damage. Uh, go ahead. Prevent ourselves from taking more damage. This card will cycle around. Our deck is small. Don't take my heat in though, so I need that. Let's see if we can't. And this just stays forever. Yo, it stays forever. Play it. Play it twice. Oh, no, it doesn't stay forever. <clears throat> However. Deny him. Deny him his composure. Uh, excuse me, I need those cards. Excuse me, sir. I want my cards back. Fellow oh, loses half his results. It's finally lasts for one more turn. Okay, we're gonna take four damage. But not really. And then. Do I have the means to do six to him? I do not believe so. Let's flip this coin. Yo, okay. This is gonna do max. I can only play one card though. Do I have any zero cost cards? No. Okay, okay, okay. Let's protect ourselves. We can wait one more turn. He's, uh, he's down to six. That's fine, that's fine. Also, please stop taking my cards. You can take three from here. We'll see what this is. Repair card, it doesn't matter. And you're just done. Nice. Uh, our blacklist is slowly getting longer and more powerful. Campbell deal two damage to all opponents while this is in your hand. Apply three composure to a random argument whenever you prepare a card. Lose composure from all friendly arguments. Deal damage equal to the composure loss. This seems. I don't prepare. I don't. So, this is dumb. I don't have enough arguments for this to be worthwhile. I think, and I think I skip. It may seem like I'm skipping a lot, because I am. But there will come a time when I don't skip. You will rule the day. I still get paid 60 shills, and he likes me. What an idiot. What a big dumb idiot. Upgrade the negotiation or battle card. Or upgrade the negotiation or battle card. Okay. Uh, our health is in a bad place, so let's do another negotiation. They do. All right, it's been getting aggressive with their recruitment. Only some of the laborers are, only some of the laborers are malcontent, but they show, but they work to sow dissent among the others, radicalizing the workforce. One pamphleteer has been encouraging the workers to strike, if you can imagine. Thank you. It must be a breach of contract. Nope. Yeah, uh, no unions, no uh, no unions allowed. It's against contract rules. Alright, go to the bar. Stop the, stop the bad people. You're Admirati. Yeah, I can read across your shoulders. Across these carapace-covered shoulders. Uh, good eyes, dude. Oh, is this the dude 
that, uh, yeah, he, you exchange your coins. And just about every coin is better than the default one. So, I will trade you. Apply to composure to our random friendly argument. I feel like I got the mud coin a lot last time. So the, the heads is the same, snails is twice as strong. Or do we go for the draw a card, discard a card? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. If you discard this card, add a copy of this card to your draw pile. Let's go ahead. Let's be a little defensive. Okay, a little, little froggy coin. Alright, and I don't have a ton of money. Let's see. No. What is your boon? Whenever you remove a debuff, heal 5? No. No, thank you. Your deal is. I don't know yet. Don't see us. Today is not the day that I help you. What you got for me? Yo, free grabbed. At the start of each negotiation, rig two tails. At the start of each negotiation, discard the two cards and draw that many new cards. To gain two power at the start of each battle, lose two power the first time you take enemy damage. Let's go ahead. What do we got going on here? Spend all charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more concerned about our battle deck, so let's but make that stronger. And then, black market. What's up? What's up, Enit? Uh, you can. You can totally let me in. 75 shells, I refuse. And it, you're gonna do me a favor. You're gonna put your name on this list and then you're gonna let me into this cool, cool kid place. Uh, draw some cards, please. Thank you. Whenever you deal damage, they gain composure. If I block all damage, they get hurt. Oh, looks like I'm blocking all damage. And then move on with my life. We go ahead and delete this. We see that you're putting four on my face. I refuse. No more actions. No. Give me the tails. No. And by tails, I meant head. How dare you do what I said instead of what I wanted. Let's go ahead and no ability to flip the coin. Rough. But two health left means it's all ogre. Draw two cards, gamble for each hostility card drawn. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's go ahead. What if we do a lot of draw and just flip the coin constantly? Set the coin. No. Replenish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Replenish is huge. Gamble? Or set the coin and expand? No, no, no. Do be gambling. My work takes me all over the continent, my friend, sometimes all the way to Victoria. I got connections. You a spy then? Just look at Rook's smug little face. Look at how he absolutely destroys these people in the marketplace of negotiation. Start of each turn, gain one overcharge. When installed, upgrade three random battle cards, or whenever you deal the maximum damage of a card that has a damage range, draw a card. Interesting. Interesting, but not game winning, at least not yet. When you play three manipulate cards in a row, do four damage around an opponent argument. Every fifth time you gamble, gain an action. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. I want it. 
Requires 300 shells. I'll be back. Unless... Unless you have something freaking sick. Strategy. Whenever you prepare a card, deal two damage to your enemy and opponent argument. Gamble twice. Evoke it by preparing a card. No, no, no. Apply to scan. Whenever you attack this target, draw a card. Remove all debuffs on target and deal four bonus damage per. Deal one bonus damage per overcharge. Gain three overcharge. Interesting. Interesting. We got a fire thing kind of going. Yeah, I'm more interested in that uh that gamble synergy over there. So, gotta convince all these. Oh, gotta ask these people. Where's Clem? You should uh, tell me where the pamphleteer is. And also, add your name to my list. Let's go ahead. Whack him. Whack him. Whack him. Whack him defensively. Came to composure whenever they make an argument. Fine by me. Let's go. Diplomacy cards deal less damage. The minimum of one. How dare you? How dare you? And I didn't even draw any hostility cards. It's messed up. Now, I definitely want to blast them. <clears throat> so I'll do it. And then I'll pop, pop, and do it again. Desmond will take four to the face, which is unfortunate because there's quite a few negotiations that are going to come up. But I believe. I believe we'll do just fine. No, he made, he made one. You're right, you're right. Flustered. Reduce their attack. Alright. Doesn't do much this turn, so we're actually gonna go away at the end of their turn. But conceptually, you know, it could have done something. There you go, he's gonna fall apart. Let's go ahead and blast him. Okay, we have Lethal here. So, let's go ahead and play this first. This is free to play. And now, just end it. Cool. Gamble on Tails, attack with this card twice, discard a card, spend one influence, this card gains three damage until the end of negotiation. I don't have any influence generators, I don't have a reason to discard cards yet. Well, I can make Seeb better. But I think we're going more towards the gamble. Set the coin, where we punish. Let's let's have a couple. We want a couple abilities to put the coin where we want it to. Prepare a card. No, thank you. So thanks, for, thanks for the intel. Oh, no one else here wants to talk to me. That's all right. I got what I needed. 195, we needed 300 for the for the graft. You again. Well, I'll be. How'd you find me all the way out here? You should stay away. This is free, so we play it. This is dealing max damage, so we play it. I don't want to get hit, so we play that. And we might as well play this. Suboptimal, yeah, but it's fine. And I don't think we're gonna need this flourish here, our friend. You, you know what's up. 
just like that fight song. Gain to influence, draw two cards, and gamble on heads. These cards cost one less until played. Feels like a worse version of the other thing. Okay, so when they upgrade, they cost one. And you can kind of force it. <sighs> I'll do it. Since so it's a gamble, I take. That's, that's gonna be my. I don't wanna think too much because it's late, but that's gonna be my, my shorthand. I see the wood gamble, I take it. Give me my money. When they're not on shift, it took some convincing, but I was able to deal with the pamphleteer discreetly. Excellent, how wonderful something could go so smoothly for you. Thanks for the money. Which card is the furthest from upgrading? Yo, upgrade Firestorm right now. Now, hit all enemies or do more burn. Having AoE sounds pretty cool. Especially since burn does damage to their allies as well. Now, Rook, you know dang well like I didn't call you all the way up here to put some stuff to rough up some organizers. I have my own fortress that need your particular skills. Alright, go in there. Start your double agent nonsense. What they don't know is get an action replenish or deeper in the bog. I remember the bog stuff uh, being a big stinky. But also, opportunity. No questions asked. Let's just go. You're gonna try to kill me. Weary. When drawn, lose one action. That's terrible. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna go through this weird temple. Stop lying. Creek will hate you. Defend yourself. Uh, booga booga booga. Alright, what's your deal? I don't ever return. Lose one influence and one dominance. I'm gonna save this until it looks like we need it to win. Yo, okay. If I take composure, rig one, and then... Oh, what do you know? These cost one less. Oh, that's unfortunate. But that's free. And we're holding on to that till later. Alright. Put your name on the blacklist. And then, three damage coming in. How about we take no damage? Pretty easy fight. You're free to play. And then, do we have the means to rig a tail? We don't. We don't. But you know what? One, two, three. They're dead. It's fine. Easy enough. We added their name to the list. It's all good. Each time you gamble, reduce the cost of this card by one until playing. Discard two cards. Set the coin. Spend to influence. Gain three dominance. See, yeah, this isn't that strong, actually. Like, even if this costs zero. Two to six damage. I mean... It's okay. It's okay if it costs one. How often are we flipping the coin? Most of our other cards. Uh, no thank you. So the secret of the bottom of course. Look, it's all around you. Uh, you... What happens if you love me? I don't know. 
Do I want money? No, I'll get I'll get seven coins soon enough. Thank you for your secret. Yo, let's go. Twenty show discount from shopkeepers on day one. That's so good. So we go over here real quick. Talk to the swab. Give me the weighted coin. Every fifth time you gamble, gain an action. Alright. Yo, that's sick. Just double dip and not, uh, coin flipping. Wait for Felmo to get here. Ah, uh, this place brings out memories. I won a lot of money playing cards at this very table. We're not here for memories, dude. I want you to infiltrate the rise. It's time we put an end to this worker rebellion. I know who's in charge. It's that <clears throat> Prindo, Calandra. I want you to get close to her. Make yourself invaluable. Then we'll take her from there. And how am I to do that when I can be seen having a friendly chat with a prominent spark baron? We're only talking, and you're very tricky. The taps here loosen tongues, and I have valuable information. <clears throat> the intel is very real, I assure you. We'll take a few casualties, what's the price I'm willing to pay? So I'm to convince them I'm a double, double agent? You are a double agent. This is child's play compared to your admiralty days. Got it. Little does he know. I triple agent. Quadruple agent. I'm so deep in it, I don't know where I am. Friend Clem is in trouble, you have a chance to save her before it's too late. Or get a gun. I guess I'll save my friend. No, leave Clem alone. Uh, you should... You should leave. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That's unfortunate. I will add your name to this list, though. Get a list. Next turn. We are going to draw cards. Four damage coming in. We know what happens when we draw. Or when we flip the coin, we're gonna get heads. Do I wanna just destroy when this argument is destroyed? Blah blah blah. I think you wanna swing face. Let's go ahead and improvise. Draw and discard. Okay, guy gave me an extra one. Let's if we set the coin to heads, that gives us defense, right? Yes. And then, what are the chances that we draw a hostility card? Pretty good. Yo! No damage taken. Alright, alright, alright. That prepare a card, swap its cost with this card's cost. This is now free. We also take no damage. We also take no damage. Thanks for playing prepare. Gain two actions. Draw a card for each friend you have in the rise. Don't mind if I do. You see, I'm very cool with the rise people. The people of the rise. Can I rig? I can rig. Gamble. Uh, attacks twice. And then you just... You just bonk. Oops, you're dead. Spend all dominance, gamble, and deal two damage to a random put an argument for every dominant spent. Prepared plus three damage and draw a card. This card costs zero, draw two. No thank you. I need influence and or dominance generators, please. Upgraded cards. Clem, you fool. At least I could do the one that's somewhere safe. Start each negotiation with one influence. Let's go. 
love to see it. All right, we still broke though, so let's get the heck out of here. So Sotoko. You again. Motion Kiteko. Convince Urpa to listen to Re or scare them away. Well, that's boring as heck, dude. You should listen to Re. Maybe he's got something cool going on. Also, what is your name? Herbla? I don't see your name on the list, so. Welcome. Yeah, but you will gain composure whenever I create an argument. Let's see, four damage coming in. This, this is annoying. Let's go ahead. Oh, weak, dude. Sun that on heads. You take my sandwich now. Blast him. We are still taking two. I'd rather not. Just stay safe. More damage coming towards our influence. We can protect it if we wanted to. We also play this. We don't know what's coming up here. This is rigged, so let's play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of damage going out. Like I said, I'll defend you. Free little defense. Get absolutely blasted when you destroy this. Don't mind if I do. Can we rig the coin? No. And yet, my compulsion to gamble ensured I got exactly what I wanted. But they were both defensive cards I didn't need. So, you know. Well, I don't to you. Ah, frick. Dosaka. You're dead, dude. Set the coin to tails and discard a card. Discard your hand. Gamble. Gain three bonus damage. No, thank you. I'm not gonna sell you my deck with these lame common cards yeah I didn't pick a coin head sue me I'm just gonna flip it have I told you about the 15 sacred fluids yet oh no 15 fluids I only know about the first 12 we had the location fellow no mention but as far as you can tell it's something about desolate patch of swamp you kick up some moss, looking for signs of buried fires, and eventually you see a small mark scratching the lichen of a large stone. You lost, buddy? Uh, excuse me. I know why I'm here. You don't neck, though, to establish your dominance. No, I do. Look, there's a list, and it's, your name's on it. See? See right here? It says, Big Stinky Dog. That's you, dude. We're taking four damage. Do we have any defense? We do. But if I play this, I won't be able to block. See you, Mesha. Would that be an answer to you? See you, your bed. I'm willing to take a little heat to ensure my risk grows stronger. Now, you're getting blasted. I can protect it. Didn't get what we wanted. And then, Campbell. We love poking him. We love poking him. No. This card stinks because it's a dead draw. But it also absorbed the uh, one extra action, so. You know, maybe it's not so bad. Gamble for each hostility card drawn. Ooh, that's rough. Let's 
let's go ahead and defend ourselves. Let's go ahead and how do I, how does this deck deal damage? I feel like I ask this question a lot. But here I am again, wondering how does this deck work? Oh, there it is. There's there's your answer. Gamble. Wow, oh, frick, dude. That wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to get hurt, dude. Gain two actions. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I. Excuse me. Look at all of these. Look at all this stuff going on, dude. This card costs zero. I'm drawing so much. Everything's free. I have so many actions. Just flip. Dude, I killed it with a coin flip. Gain two influence, attack two random targets. Yo, whenever you gamble, deal two damage. There we go. That's how we win the game. You just gave me the keys to the kingdom, dude. With that argument, that's, we had all this fuel. That's the flame. I, I dare you. I dare you to argue with me. Alright, alright. You do a job for us to prove you're not messing around. If you do that right and this intel checks out, maybe we can talk to the boss. The barons move spark through the bog at night, thinking that the darkness protects them. It does not. We are the bog. We are the night. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. I'll go do it. I'll go do it. But, uh, I think I want to eat first. Nope. I would like... I would like food to replenish my health. I would like to put a garbage card. Yo, what's up? Whenever you draw a parasite, heal to health or res resolve. Yo, that's sick. I would like to fix my resolve? No. Buy a meal. Yeah. So. Okay, okay. Let's hope. Ah, oh, what the frick. You come across a small caravan partly submerged in the bog. Inside the other remains of an unfortunate traveler with a small box of assorted items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I heal, right? So I can do stuff. Yo, that's new. When this card's effect is triggered by. Sp Wait, when this card's effect is triggered the specific number of times it is destroyed and special event occurs. The hatch counter is not chained to while fatigued. Okay, so it's leveling up but by a different name. I don't know why they changed it. They changed the art for it too though. The hatch used to look different. Oh, what's up, robot? Just, just start this. What's why, why the long face? Select all, destroy. Control A, backspace. Do I attack you or do I intimidate you? Uh, try the loot, reach for the sky. Let's go ahead and add your name to the list. What is this? Draw one additional card every second turn? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Now, it might be annoying that I'm letting this flourish sit here. But, you know, that's life. If I don't feel like I'm in danger, I don't really want to mess with it. I have no composure though, so let's go ahead and draw two cards. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and whack you. Create the argument. Count. 
Okay. Set the coin to defense. Hopefully. Yeah, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. Yeah, take those useless cards. Yeah. This, this is the money right here. Play this. Apply composure. Yeah, our intimidation went away. Who cares? Every time we gamble. Every time we gamble. Let's go. Free cards? Don't mind if I do. Oh, frick. I want to. I want you gone. We're gonna gamble right now. Can we? Can we rig it? We can rig this one. Do I want any of this? Okay, rig coin. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are taking a lot of damage right now. We only have one defense. Okay. 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 Let's go ahead and gamble. Okay, you love to see it. This is protected. That doesn't do anything for us. Let's go ahead and protect you further. And by you, I mean me. No. Protect this one. Set the coin. Oh, the defense went the wrong way. It's alright, it's alright. When I play a hostility card, it's gonna get blasted, dude. Also, your name's on the list. Also, you're freaking dead, dude. And I played of my food, dude. If you have influence, repair a card. No. Now you let us go, that's part of the deal. They've seen our faces, we have to finish them off. Uh... You like us? Well... <laughs> Well, well, well. If it means you like me. Take one damage whenever you use an item. I would never dream of it. I would never dream of <laughs> using an item. Who, me? No, never. We ambushed him, dude. Where's my reward? I started your negotiation rig two. I started your negotiation discard up to two cards and draw that many new cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See. Before Fleckfist can voice any more disapproval, Kalandra enters the room. You know, for the third degree, I want to meet the turn code. You don't even know how many codes I'm about to turn. I don't know whose team I'm on. This is the way. Right now, I won't pretend I trust you completely. I hire you to spy after all. So, that'll come later for now, just stay on Felomo's good side. Felomo thinks you're spying on me. You can't give him any indication it's the other way around. But I want you to check in with me every day. For what I'm paying you, you should make time for both. Okie dokie. Get me the heck out of here. Let's see. An admirality weapon with that rook knows is here in the bog. Let's go ahead and I don't like a one-time use card. Let's go to the gun show. Rook, they said you were dead. Imagine me being dead. I would never. I'm here looking for freelance clients. Know anyone local who can pay top dollar for good weapons? Uh, why are you here? Just kidding, I don't care. You want to sweep my guns? Us old things have to stick together. I'm surprised they're still intact. I was protecting a child when I built those. There's your lore, there's your backstory. Certainly, with the right parts and access to my tools, and about a week. Uh, how about you increase the number of charge chambers? So that, on the off chance. Tell you what, I'll add one for free. I can add two, but it'll cost you. Uh, I'm broke, so go ahead and do the one. There wasn't an option to add two when I last played them, so that's interesting. 
Almost like an admirality? Just kidding. Don't care. Don't get yourself killed out there? Oh, never mind, you're my favorite person. Let's... Ah, oh, frick. We could just have to the scuffle ahead. Yo, let's get a Varrock! No, 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 no. I, I help. I help the frog. Okay. Three damage coming in. We have more than enough defense. Let's go ahead. Blast you. Deal four to six damage. It's an item card. It's going to hurt me to use it. So I should gain defense first. When destroyed, the attacker gains four mending. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Five damage coming in. Let's see. I have one defense naturally. Spend one charge, apply three burn. Spend all charge, deal two bonus per. Freaking blast, dude. No, wait. Who's hurting me? The robot. So there's my mending. Look at all that defense. Let's go ahead. Get those cards close to upgrade. I like the frog because with its evasion for the first three or so turns, it's invincible. It's just real nice. When drawn, we lose an action. Okay, we're not taking damage this turn. And you can go ahead and be hurt. It is unfortunate that you're gonna get hit. Just kidding. Like I said, it's nice that they just they just live all the time. All right. Spend one charge. Apply two scorch. Apply burn equal to the damage dealt. Spend all charge. <coughs> Scorch is a really good uh, add-on to a burn deck because it makes the burn last longer. And we have a good card for applying a lot of burn. More burn. Fully charge is cost zero or attack twice. Uh, I want to use up my charge often, so I'd rather just attack twice. <coughs> Spend a two charge, deal three bonus damage per charge spent. Or spend one charge, deal three. It sounds like this is a better deal, right? Um, but because I do want to use my charge more often, there you go. Yeah. Having charge missing ensures we have free defense every turn. Apply targeted replenish. Because it replenishes, sure why not? You win the fight, but your only reward is carnage. No! Frog, no! You're supposed to be my friend. You arrive at the dead drop. It's much like all the other locations in Havaria, empty but full of anticipation. You jot down a few notes about the rides and spark parents and shove the wax envelope into the sealed canister. If you were any less experienced, you wouldn't notice the sudden silence as someone approaches behind you. Shoot and she, sir. You're still too loud when you walk. Vacantity. Yo, new character, who dis? What the frick? Jake's protege. Look at this sick ass character design. Frickin' Cyclops up in here. Look at this clean looking mo. Man, this dude. Look at those friggin' grenades. Look like bullets. What's with this armor? He's dude, this dude looks friggin' sick. You'll have to forgive me. My only teacher was a negligent old reprobate. Aren't you a little bit too old now to still be blaming others for your shortcomings? You left us hanging. Most of the crew didn't make it out alive. That's on you. I'm here to speak for them. I'm the Lorax. I speak for the trees. You should, uh, just like shut your mouth dude okay turn one we're taking four damage so we need to keep this uh, there's no way for us to rig right now so get rid of all that get rid of, rid of all that 
no. First things first. Oh, maybe gambling is the way. What is this? When destroyed, they gain one impatience. Or pain defect when you enter battle. Alright. So there's, there's a little bit for you. Draw two cards, gamble for each hostility card drawn. Oh, no hostility cards. That's rough. You are going to get destroyed. I can't abide by that. I'm sorry. I really want to play Fallout though. I'll just have to settle for blasting you. Whenever their arguments are destroyed, splash damage is converted to composure instead. How dare you? Put his name on the list. Defend yourself. Next turn. When this is destroyed, deal 3 damage to the owner's core argument and spawn 2 new moments of weakness. How dare you? Conceptually, that defends me. I want to draw more. I want to draw more so I can get Fallout played. But I don't need Fallout played to win, so... Also, what's the chance that I draw hostile cards? Zero. <laughs> Do we have any rigging going on? Don't. How about... Create here. Okay, you're being attacked. Let's... Rig. So can I share? That ensures that this does more damage. Oh, wait. Does he get another one of these every time I destroy it? Yo, I can. This can mess him up. Uh, gamble. Perfect. Set the coin. Oh, wrong way. That's right. This should be our last fight for the day. Gain advantage in battle and apply one defect effect for every fear you destroy. Oh, let's go. Get Fallout going. We're taking two damage and four damage here. Unfortunate. For him. We can, we can keep it going. We can keep it going. Uh, what is the chance that we draw hostile? Pretty, pretty high, pretty high. Let's do that then. And then, you won't break, you're gonna break. We want to attack this. Five damage. This will kill. We have nothing rigged, but this will do extra damage. Yeah, we can guarantee Oh, well, frick, I didn't expect that. Yo, okay, that was five coin flips to gain an extra action. We can protect ourselves. That's cool. Gain two influence, discard your hand. I don't need more than one influence though. Just protect it forever. That does seem kind of foolish though, right? And I do think we need more offensive cards. Does it ever become coin flip? No, it does not. I did. Shoot and she sat. All you had to do was remember your training and follow my orders, but you couldn't hack it and your friends got killed. I'm so sorry that's all that happened. You abandoned us when we needed you the most. It appears we see things differently. That's not going to matter in a couple minutes. Yo, let's go. Okay. The next attack on this fighter does double damage and removes one defect. So, this will do 14 to 16 damage. Or this will do 10 to 12, but only one burn. I want to save this up to do more burn. So, 
blast him with that. Do I want to hit him with burn like that? I don't think so. Eight damage coming in. We're going to block a little bit because we have three defense plus five extra there. What the frick is Lumen Days? Reduce the minimum damage of all your attacks by six. What the heck? Reduce by one whenever you play a card. Whenever you play a maneuver card and at the end of your turn. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go ahead. Block up. I'm thinking 12 damage coming in. Dude, that sucks too. What the heck is this, dude? Hits all enemies for 8. There's only one enemy here, dude. There's only one enemy here. Do I want to bash him? Yeah. It does hurt us for 1, but it gets that card closer to me. Closer to popping. No. He's not doing anything this turn. Great for us. Send one charge, apply two Scorch. Scorch would be nice if he had a... Uh, if he had any fire left on him. Spend all charge, deal two bonus damage per spin. We have plenty of charge to spend. Let's go ahead... Go ahead, apply the Scorch. So if we burn him in the future, it'll be better. And go ahead and attack him. I don't want the flourish to be affected by his lumen days, so I'm waiting until uh, we've reduced that to zero to play it. Now, eight damage coming in. We have four block naturally. Do I only have the one mean of applying burn? No, I have two. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's spend one charge there. Defend ourselves. Let's improvise a card. Gain one charge, reduce mark, spend one charge. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Let's get some, some weird manipulation. You put Lumen Days on me again, you piece of garbage, dude. I hate you. Burn up. Blast him. This does mess up my defense, though. It does mess up my defense. Something, something stupid. Okay. Good to know it wasn't affected by the by the lumen days. Let's defend. I want I want to burn him as much as possible. Apply two burn per charge, hits all enemies. I want to get rid of this Lumen Days. Enjoy your 11 burn. Okay, let me check out this one again. Burn cannot decay before by more than two stacks per turn. Whenever burn is triggered, remove one Scorch. Okay. So Scorch limits burn's decay to two. Six damage coming in. Four block. Five block. Keep the burn going. Piece of garbage man. Stop applying Lumen Days. I hate it. Fourteen damage here. Spend all charge, deal 2 bonus damage per. Don't mind if I do. But first, I defend myself. Yo, okay, 
he's burning out. Piece of doo doo garbage, man. Do I execute you? Nobody would know, right? Death loop. Apply to impair, hits all enemies. You know what? Nah. Alright, accept your surrender. You look you look too sick to to let you die. Spend all charges, cost one less per charge, hits all enemies. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, gain two defense. Is burning a debuff? Is you know what? This is important enough to my success that I'm going to Google it right now. Is burn a debuff in Griftlands? Let's see. There's a wiki for this game that I've never looked at. Status damage from secondary sources won't trigger death flags. Excuse me. Negative status effects. Does this count as a debuff? Excuse me. No, I want. What is a debuff? Many battle cards and ally enemy attacks apply status effects to their targets. Referred to in game as debuffs, most statuses stack, which increases. Okay. According to this wiki, a negative status effect is a debuff. So, this should give us defense whenever you burn an enemy. And if I'm wrong, then uh, that's, that really says a lot about the wiki, not on me. Discard this card, deal 3 damage to run target, Tails draw card. At the end of your turn, rig 2, yell, let's go. Spend one charge, deal two bonus damage, or gain two. Let's gain charge so that we can burn and do stuff better. Uh, defense is more important. Resolve. You aren't half bad, you know that? A little more practice might even get me to break a sweat. Yo, I just told you. Uh, you're quiet, but not silent. I know enough of admirality and ex admirality of information and grudges to put the pieces together. I didn't know I was leaving a trail. I even grew this mustache to conceal my identity. That's what it's for. Alright. Listen, kids, survive this long, right? Take that as the wind that it is and go make a life for yourself. You can't live in the past. It'll eat you alive. Frogs scuttles off. You don't completely trust the mixture of hatred and admiration that you see in his last backwards glance, but you've made your decision and you have to live with it. He's just a... He, he's a... He's a little kid. He'll, he'll figure it out. Also, if this dude's still here, yeah, I'm getting inoculated, dude. Alright, thank you for the token of friendship. I am flat broke now, and I, uh, I sleep. I sleep, I sleep. Your bed calls you. Hit the pillow like a load of bricks. Alright, and we're still early enough in the procedures that we full heal every night. Only one person hates us, and it just affects the items. We don't really play items. Besides having two of them in the deck. And I think we're doing great. Uh, can we trade coins again? Gain one influence, deal two damage to your enemy. No, no, no. We don't really, uh... Seeker's coin. Draw a card, deal two damage to your enemy. Okay. I'm making good use out of the uh, applying composure. But drawing a card could be sick. Let me, let me look. I already I, I draw plenty. I draw plenty. I draw plenty. It's an upgraded oh, sure. Yo, and I almost forgot. All right, so. That's it for today's episode. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, we're trying, we're trying different stuff out, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.